Good afternoon, guys. Uh, excited to be here with you guys. Uh, excited about this week, this opportunity. Uh, Arizona has a hell of a special teams unit, uh, and we're excited to go against them. So with that, I'll say go ahead, guys, with questions. What kind, of, what kind of a bind did it put you in uh, on Sunday when, when you find out that Robbie can't go that close to the game? Well, um, you know, those are things that are always – it's a tough situation to be in for any – anyone not me and it's not about me it's not about me being in a bind it's always about team it's always about we first so it's a it's a tough situation to be in uh, it's a tough situation for Robbie I mean he, he wants to be there you know and he's done a great job for us um, but Juice was prepared to hold uh, he's done that before he's he works on that all the time he's a consummate pro he did a nice job in the game he did a uh, great job the best as he could in the game uh, Mitch did a good job uh, with his attitude and his willingness to kick and, and still punt and kick off. And I can't say enough good things about the way our guys handled that situation. Would we like the outcome to be a little bit different and make those? Sure. Um, but the way they handled it, consummate pros wouldn't expect anything less from them and are proud of the way they handled that situation. Uh, the touchback in the first half, it looked like Cannon could have downed it inside the five. And kept Ryan was not understanding the rule or was it? Yeah, no, I think I think that was just a um, the ball just died on him, so it's just a misjudgment of the football. He he knows the rules. Trent Cannon has done a hell of a job for us here. He's made several plays for us. Um, I couldn't be more happy with the plays that Trent has made since he's been here. He's been a spark for us. He's been a really good player. We still got confidence in Trent. Uh, he's got to get some clean some things cleaned up. Obviously, we all got to get some things cleaned up. I'm not excluded from that. Um, and uh, I, I I am fired up to see Trent Cannon play this week. I really am. So uh, he's a good kid. He will, he, will, he will come ready to play. Everything I've seen from him, he looks like he's ready to play so far. It was kind of the lowdown on the new kicker and what you expect from it? Yeah, uh, Joy is a, is a, a really good kicker. Um, like Joy a lot. Um, Joy was obviously uh, a guy that came in at Carolina in 2019. He was a rookie. Uh, when Mitch was a rookie, he's kicked in the stadium before. Uh, he's kicked about 80%. He won that job as a as a rookie. It's hard to do that, you know, especially when you you're not drafted. And he's a he's a has a very strong leg. He had a really good workout uh, last uh, yesterday. He had a really good workout, and uh, he's been really good in the meetings. Um, so we're looking for him to come in and and and, and fill in there for us and help us win this game against uh, Arizona. Can you have the workouts? Is it inside the stadium or do you go in the practice? We can have them either or. That particular workout we had inside the stadium. So that was a – it was a good workout. Um, obviously, you guys know Bagley was in here. Uh, Brett Meyer was in here. And those guys did a nice job as well. Um, but Joey ended up uh, separating himself from the competition on that. And uh, he earned it. And uh, we're looking forward to having him on our team and, and kicking this Sunday. Handle kickoff for you as well? I can't answer that question for you because of a competitive advantage, but you guys know he's kicked off in the past. He has the ability uh, to kick off, and Mitch has the ability to kick off. So we really have the same thing we have with uh, if, if Robbie was healthy. So we have two guys that can kick. So sorry I can't answer that directly for you, Matt, but he's in the mix to kick off just like Mitch is. Let me ask it this way. I mean, yeah. the fact that he can do kickoffs and you know, has a big leg, did that factor into your decision? All decisions, everything that every guy that came in to work out, everything that they can do always factors in. That was not the deciding factor for any uh, for any reason, but he just – he can do that. That's something everybody knows across the league. He's, he has a strength at that, and uh, so does Mitch. So I think we're fortunate there to be in that situation this week, especially going against a, a dangerous kid like Rondell Moore. Um, that, that kid has stop and start ability. He is one of the – who I think he's going to be one of the elite returners in this league. He's, he's outstanding. I mean, he hasn't scored a touchdown yet, uh, but he has a, a long punt return, and guys can see it on tape. We saw it in the, in the meeting room today, and, and we're very aware of his ability. He has cat-like quickness, and he has some really good guys blocking for him as well. Arizona, like I said, their special teams is – they're loaded with talent. They're, they're really good. Ezekiel Turner is a good player, 47 for them. 51, Tanner Vallejo is a good player for them. Uh, Gardette is a really good player for them. So we got a handful. We got a challenge, but what 
what better week would you love to have than this week, a second division game, and our guys are, are ready to go. So can't wait to go to practice today. I'll tell you that. Cannon uh, return kickoffs Sunday? Well, I, again, for get competitive advantage, I can't tell you who the kick returner will be. Um, but we still have confidence in Cannon. There will be some competition there for Cannon as well, as he expects, uh, and there should be uh, competition there. But he's done a great job for us um, before last game, obviously. He uh, had a couple hiccups there. But again, I got to do a better job of helping him as well. We all do. So. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and pin everything on Cannon, um, but Cannon's, a, Cannon's been a darn good player for us. He got a huge kickoff return for us. So he has the ability in his body. We just got to try to do that on Sunday. What's the coaching point for him on, on the fumble there? Do you, would you want him to just cover it on the first one and not try to tee it up and do more there? Or what, what, what are you telling him? Yeah, so a coaching point on that, obviously, is you want to catch the ball first. All right, if that doesn't happen and you don't secure the football, then I, I not not with this just that play with any play. If you got a bad play, you never want to make a bad play a disaster. So, in that in that particular situation, just secure it, and uh, and we'll live to fight another down and let the offense do what they do what they do. When we put the defense in a bad situation there, which I still feel awful about, Cannon feels awful about. Um, our whole kickoff return team does, and we want to do everything in our power to help the defense. Um, this week we put the we put them in a bad situation right there. And I think everybody knows that. So it's nothing I'm saying that uh that that you guys don't know. Harp on him, but the one that he let bounce. Yep. Uh that just misjudged it as well. Yeah, I think that was his question okay. earlier. Yeah, so same same if the other would be the one that he tried to cover the punt and took it into the end zone. Yeah. And it looked like he got up expecting it to be down at the two. And it kind of looked like Tabor Pepper was like, no. You took it into the end zone. Yeah, I think I think on that one, and he's down punts before uh, for us as well. I mean, he did two really good punts down for us in Philadelphia. That one, he just really didn't realize that he rolled into the end zone there. Uh, he knows the rules. He knows all of that stuff. And uh, again, he feels he feels worse about it than me, you, anybody here. And that kid gives us everything he's got. So I'm 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 looking forward to seeing that kid play. I, I love him. I really do. So, good. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.